What it is, what it do. Welcome to the No Buffer Podcast. Let me turn this cup around, man. Um, We are here. (laughs) What's going on, people? Hello. Hello, world. I missed you guys for two weeks. What's going on? Is it really that? Is that true? No, I did. I really really did. I did. Shan, we got to have a long discussion. Mm. You were being a whole um, thirst trap on IG yesterday. She know what I'm talking about. See, I see that look on her face. She know what she was doing. <laughs> oh, what happened? I was being a thirst trap. See, yesterday. I told you. I told you she was a thirst. You know thirst what? Trap. I think yesterday. I knew it. So you was in your panties or something. Whatever. No, no, she went. She well, went I that mean, far now. technically. What I mean, technically oh, speaking. So you. what happened was. I, I no, no. Exactly I'm gonna tell you the story. About. So what happened was, shout out to something. Um, Red Coat the Poet, they hit me up yesterday and was mm-hmm. like, hey, we're having a video shoot. They actually hit me up Saturday. He hit me up Saturday and was like, we're having a video shoot Sunday. Come through. I was like, all right. So normally I just expect to be like on the side somewhere, kind mm-hmm. of you and checking out the scenery. And I was like, like, am I in it? What's the attire? And he was like, classy ho. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what does a classy ho look like? So I went on Pinterest. I was like, <laughs> you oh. typed the words in? Yeah, I did. And <laughs> wow. an outfit came up. I was like, I like this outfit and I can do it. So that's how you work Pinterest. You type in stuff and Yeah, then, you just type in stuff and just man, everything just like literally everything out. comes up. I just found that out. Just seriously, now. you don't know I didn't Pinterest? understand how to work Pinterest. Oh my, you literally like, it's like Google but with pictures. Like with visuals. Gotcha. And then like you so click you on it. Twerking in your drawers or something? No, it's not twerking in my drawers. Oh. So anyway, so the outfit that I had on was really cute. Oh, you did? Yeah, it was a classy yeah. whole picture. I had on my cute little white lingerie leotard, lace. Oh, yeah, the girls out. Yeah, it was definitely out. Oh, and out. I had on my nice little trench blazer. Oh, no, it was definitely <laughs> out. Um, <laughs> just because I'm very top heavy, if you've never seen me in person, it like it crazy. runs in my family to be very top heavy, so they was definitely out. And, um, yeah, I had on some, some high-waist jeans, my little heels, and I just felt really good about myself. It was, it was a really good shoot. They, it was very creative. The black and white picture? Mm-hmm. It was, it was definitely... You showed the areola? No, I ain't showing oh. no areola. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, titties. I would have had to call on that. There's definitely like, titties at that point. You oh. showing titties. I was like, no, all right, Shia, right. now let's have no a real yeah, conversation. Yeah, I'm not showing no titties. <laughs> that's, a, that's what a private conversation is. Yeah, like, no. <laughs> that's when you're like, Are you hey, okay? You're right. It was Everything on. okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not out here like that. Oh, so I'm in the middle of rebranding myself, so I had to get some structure together. Mm. Okay. Well, I I have you, noticed that in the younger people that they only want like a certain amount of post up it it, i mean it doesn't it is kind of weird but no i did it but well the first time i did it was because i had pictures on instagram from like 2013 and 14 i was like yikes it might be it might be you don't want people to see the glow up no but you can go to facebook for that (laughs) that's not what the instagram's for now, did you archive or delete? No, archive. Archive. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, I didn't want to delete them because I don't. I don't have those in my phone. Yeah, like I can put it back on my page. Yeah. So, I did, you said why? I just told you I'm rebranding. Well, because I don't. Because a lot of those I don't have in my phone anymore. So if I want to keep them and you know for whatever, then I can bring them back. But anyway. No, I'm gonna. No, I'm not keeping it. At He's four. really interested. In yeah, he is. IG He's trying situation. to figure it out. No, I'm not keeping it at four. <laughs> no, and you're right. You're very right. No, I'm not keeping it at four. Yeah, I ain't, no, ain't cool. erasing nothing no more except yeah. for flyers. I'm yeah. only erasing flyers. flyers yeah, so. and then I started doing. But no, I'm not erasing anything else. I have a lot of pictures and shoots and stuff on the way that I'm waiting to drop. But I'm okay, not, okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so shout out to them. Um, we did it. We the the video is really dope. It was definitely new for me. I've never had like a thing where I had to be a person in a mm. video, so that was different for me. What's the video? Really cool. that, what's the song? Do you remember? Play me some pimping. Huh? 
Huh? Play me some pimping. Play me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that shit's tough. Yeah. So um. So yeah. So that was cool. It was definitely different for me. It wasn't out of my element necessarily, but it was what well, kind of. But it was definitely cool. So shout out to them. And yeah, so that was my thirst trap. That was my thirst trap Sunday. I just needed Sunday. some context. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was just like, man. Thought I was having a, having a good Sunday? <laughs> no, I, I thought Shia was on there. She was on there like, yeah, whoever the last person you dated, I'm trying to make him extremely <laughs> mad. I was like, dang. <laughs> I did piss a few people off for the time. Shia up there. She out you. <laughs> but no, it was cool. It was cool. That that was a good Sunday. That was a really, that was a dope Sunday. I haven't for had sure. a really dope Sunday like that in a while. So that was cool. Hey, um, I just got a notification on my phone. Somebody just bought the EP, so I, I should shout this out here. Uh, Paid in America, man. We got an uh, a EP coming out called Vices, hey. uh, February 1st. It'll be available. It's available for pre-order right now, so you can go and buy it directly from us. Um, just go to paidinamerica.com and click on the pre-order tab. That's the easiest way. Or click on our IG, the link in our IG bio. Boom. I got a plug up. Um, I came up with the concept, but the execution came from Kodak, uh, Kodak K. She shot it, and um, she did a dope job with the edits and everything. So shout out to her. Shout out to Kodak. But yeah. She did um, the Soulful Exchange mm. on Monday that I hosted. So. No, yeah, Tuesday dope. that I hosted, so that was dope. Yeah, shout out to Kodak. Yeah, Kodak, she's super dope. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of talent. First person to put me on a magazine, at, uh, well, article in a magazine is last name good, so I always shout out her hey, for that. A lot of love. A lot of love from Kodak K. But yeah, man, um, so yeah, we missed you last week. We did have like a bottle of Doucet in your place. It's okay. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that, is no, that is not here at the moment. But it is okay. not here. It's not here. We were saying like, man, we wish it was a bottle of Jameson. That would have been like perfect. Yeah. Man, that would have Y'all would have missed me for real. Yeah, that, 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 that was like spot on. It's but, all good. Um, it's all good. Yeah. I appreciate the love and, and your efforts and my yeah, wale yeah. voice. Definitely, man. How was y'all week, though? Uh, it's been... Interesting. That sound like a, sound like there's a story behind that. No, it's that. not a story. I think I'm just in a like, I'm in like a oh, nigga. You said no. interesting. I, I just think more so like life interesting. You learn about yourself. Is that yeah, way? yeah. It's just in a, like yeah. I'm in a real sentimental mood right now. Like I'm oh, kind of like. Sentimental? Yeah. yeah. Like cute to Langston Hughes. Um, that's where I'm at right now. Whoa. Yeah. I'm. I'm. <laughs> you trying to read some poetry in this? We're going to hit the finger snap? <laughs> she said cute to Langston Hughes. <laughs> Steve, pull up some Langston Hughes real quick. <laughs> Raising in the sun. <laughs> oh, man. Cue okay. The, cue the sentiment to move. All right. Honest. Well, um, I don't even know how to respond to that. Is that like a. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Uh, I, it's just more of a like, it's a chill kind of thing. Okay. All right. Just, I'm going to leave it alone because it sounds like something else. No. <laughs> it's not that bad. We ain't got to go there if you don't want to. <laughs> okay. <Shani. laughs> Yeah, I, I was like, she been just, vague I'm in just, the mug. I'm just chilling. Like, okay, cool. You must just, be dating Darius Love, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not dating. I'm just... I'm 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 chilling. I'm just learning about myself. I'll yeah, say well, that. You date Darius? I know you date Darius. Love uh, oh, boy. Is that it? You don't know who that is? Mm -mm. Oh wow! You don't know either. Google. Oh, wow. good. I'm not the only Google. one. Google. Who is Darius Love? Love Hall. Darius Love Hall. Yeah. Darius Love Hall. You got to make sure you're on the mic too, H. We we like 45 episodes in at this point. Oh, um, yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, because I was listening last one. I was like, yeah, I could see how that's a bothersome kind of yeah, idea. No, it's it plugged up. I did, it, I did it myself. Oh, okay. Okay. So y'all don't care to Google? Y'all care to be force fed? No, I mean, ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so no, just, hostile. No, I, like no I mean, I'll Google. Just give me a second. Y'all okay. can continue with y'all conversation. Oh, okay. Hey, man, that's a nice, um, no, actually, I'm nice, a nice. I'm away wow! <laughs> did my man just hit me with one of these right here? He did. <laughs> they gotta check it out. Said, no, said, no, no that's selfish, love. man. Yeah, that is right? What, what, what no, is that? What is that? No, Darius is it? Love Hall. Oh, Darius Love. I'm sorry. We talking about the watch? What is that? You in my business, fam? Okay. <laughs> no, now I don't be checking your gear, bro. That's all I'm asking you, bro. I ain't okay. ask you what kind of pants you got on. <laughs> what kind? What you know? What kind of rocks in your ear? None of that shit. Hilarious. Bro. Who made your hat? I ain't asked you none of that, bro. That was a fresh hat, though. The reason why okay. I asked, because I'm Is this the same guy or is this somebody different? 
Right. Do I have the right? I guy? went watch shopping. No. And <clears throat> Darius no. Love Hall. I typed that in. Nothing came up. So it's a it's a uh, no, way bro, you spell no, Darius no, or Darius Love Hall. You put D- two R's in Darius. Some people Sometimes. do. Sometimes. Wow. Where they do the I U S. I don't. That's what I'm. Okay, I can see that. that I'm that's asking definitely. for specifics. It's D A R. No, bro. It's D A R. Bro, there's like 50 I-U-S. names to spell. That's like there's two uh, names to spell. Steve. Google should predict that though. It didn't. That's it why didn't. I asked. Put in. Just type in Love Hall. Darius Love Hall, bro. One R. This <laughs> is get out of here. Come on. Is so it yeah, you in there or not? We should, we should keep talking about something. I'll die, bro. I know it's going to take this low. You're right, bro. <laughs> How was your week, though, bro? It what was you? good, bro. I was good, bro. What are you doing this week? <laughs> Man, I, Aww, yeah. I feel. All right, I'm not going to talk about it. I don't talk about he it. He don't know, though. He ain't look it up. You can just tell him. It's he like to be force fed. Love Jones. The movie? Yeah. Oh, what? Well, okay. Yeah. So what you you about to spit some poetry? Nah. Andy, be, bro, stay off the mic. <laughs> we good. We good, fam. Hilarious. We good, fam. We'll need no input right. for this guy. Bo- bonus if you could tell me the name of the actor. Lorenz Tate. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure, bro. You, you, you said Love Jones. That's I classic. know, but I'm saying you, you, you. He, he also oh, said hey, Darius Love. That's a classic. That's a classic. That's a classic. That's a classic. You say classic. Love Jones. It's like okay. I know, that's but he gave you the name of the character though, and you was like, I don't know who that is. So how, how classic is it? <laughs> all that happy to be here shit, bro. You don't know what's going all on. That, all that happy to be yeah, here Yeah, I'm saying the shit because it sounds good, bro. You ain't paying attention to that movie, bro. It is a black oh, classic, yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a, black a black classic. classic. I'm bugging. Sure. Speaking of black classic. Nah, he just said I'm bugging. Speaking of black classic, I was looking at Juice yesterday. Okay. Came on TV, right? And I started watching it right at the point when, when my man um, Bishop walked on the elevator. I had um, Q shook. Mm. <laughs> Q was like, he wasn't expecting to see him. He wasn't expecting to see him at all. Stuck. Well, he <laughs> got stuck. But that was that moment right there. You was like, I can't go nowhere. It's he, over with. He wasn't expecting to see because you ain't gonna shoot me on this elevator, is you? He wasn't expecting to see because Bishop was crazy in that though. Like he watching was, it bro. like that. My man tweet. He he killed two people in like. <laughs> I yeah, mean, bro. in movie time, like thirty seconds, bro. Yeah, like. Bro. Yeah, bro. He was out there. Yeah. yeah. Psychopath. Like, psychopath, bro. Like, 30 seconds, bro. Psychopath. And he was a slick stalker. He laying in the cut on you. And tight. At the locker. Yeah, he, yeah bro. He, like, he, he was shook, bro. He didn't expect. Then he already got some big eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my else, bro. Yeah. He seen that nigga. Oh. From a mile away. What's going I feel, on? I felt like that was, um, they did a, he did a good job. I think that was his first movie too. Like uh, Omar Epps. Oh he did a good job acting, bro. Like that to be your Some first movie. Some people just born for it, bro. You're right. That was so a pretty good movie though. But yeah, ain't had no training in there. Some people just born it's classic. for it. Bro. It is a classic. Bishop. <laughs> no, no, I can agree with him on that. This is a classic. Man, it's both of them were classics, bro. But he couldn't tell me nothing about this movie for real. Hilarious. What's my man? Who who Bishop shot? I don't know. Cuevas or whatever the huh? fuck is he? The Spanish nigga. He did shoot the Spanish dude. Yeah, you're right. What about the what? What's his homeboy name? Who he shot? Oh, um. Come on, man. Come on, H. H. That was up your way in the whole movie. Hilarious, but that was on your block. Niggas be saying that shit because it sounds good, bro. <laughs> I can tell you what the movie is about. That's, that's cool. What's up. Right. That's cute. It's cute. Right here, man. It took cute. you too long. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cause, that's cause cute. A whole grown man watching this movie can't tell me nothing about it. Man. That's He's, cute. Who, wait. He said hey, what that is was this cute? exactly? Hmm? This I definitely said that was cute. Oh. You did say He that? said cute. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a no homo right there. Guys. Did you say cute? I did. Yeah, he yeah. did. Like, not cute, cute but cute. No, like cute. Like, yeah. you look cute today. Like that's He cute. didn't say it in that context. No, no, I'm saying he was saying cute as in. He shouldn't say nothing cute. To about a guy. It was sarcasm. Hey, that's that no, New man, York boy. Them boys, yeah, them boys play that it pong game forever. Sarcasm. It's all good. Nah, it's his, bro. No, like, it was sarcasm. That's, that's what we say, bro. Like, I, I, it, it was. I sarcasm. mean, I get it too, but I'm fucking with him. But it's like, hold up. Yeah, <laughs> but it does a whole way, bro. It's what we say, bro. Mm-mm. Hey, we um we missed it last. Y'all don't week. kiss niggas when y'all be ready to fight. Whoa. Like in terms of like blow oh, kisses yeah. and shit. Oh. oh. What? So I get, I get what, no, I get what you're talking nah, about. Nah, up top niggas yeah. don't be, 
when they about to got there fight somebody, I don't see that plenty of time for some New York niggas, bro. Damn. I ain't really seen it. Yeah, yeah. I never saw that. Like, like, like <laughs> I I never kiss saw a death shit. type shit, like I kill you type. Like, yeah. okay, cool. Right. I never what, seen the person. Movie? I definitely That's seen the movie. movie ain't no movie, bro. I don't see New York movie. niggas do that shit. I ain't never seen like that. Like you a bitch or something, some shit like that. Like that type shit. Like, like the kiss yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like the long kiss of death type <laughs> shit. <laughs> that's not, yeah. that's a little yeah, random you and weird. Tell me, I, I know what I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I saw From glass. the gangsters, bro. I saw Glass. <laughs> Yo, you <laughs> out. <laughs> saw Glass, the, the movie? How was it? I heard it was it like, was okay. It was pretty yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, if you went to, if you remember the past movie. Did you see the past yeah. two? Yeah. You saw Split? Yeah. Split was a little weird. Yeah, no, Split, Split was. was a lot Split of weird. Split got real weird when the monster came out. Like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, like. Yeah, it was a little weird, bro. Yeah. The monster. It's people out here, like, really legit living like that, though. Yeah. Like, with them different yeah, personalities. Yeah, mad personalities. Yeah, that dude, how many personalities he had? Ten. Yeah, like, ten. Ten? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was Yeah, he was. Yeah, he like was. a little boy, two girls, a yeah. regular dude. Yeah, the monster. That's crazy. Yeah, had a lot good, going though. on. It was, it was good. Pretty though. good. That's wild. I think that's high key fascinating. Why is he a superhero, bro? I still don't understand because they do shit that superheroes do. Ego. As in, could crawl I guess the they do. Yeah, he is crawling the, the ceiling and the wall. No, not, not, not the nigga from not Split. F- I'm talking about Sammy. It's the movie called Sammy Glass. L. His, his shit like the antagonist, but why he has no powers? His power was yeah. That. He his his power of manipulation. Right, his power was yeah. mind. Because he manipulated yeah. all of those situations that, um, to for the dude on to the keep person. yeah to keep um, getting so he can find the dude who um, I forgot his name. What's what's um, Bruce Willis? Bruce character. Willis character. I can't remember his name, but he was the one that you know he he wouldn't break. You know what I mean? He kept, right. he, kept was un, he was unbreakable. This dude was fragile. Split. No. Uh, Samuel, Samuel was fragile. fragile. What's his, his superpower? With? His mom. So yeah. that nigga smart, bro. No, it was it was manipulated. He he made all of those events happen, though. I understand. I seen all. Yeah. I seen all on Sutton Glass. Oh, the understand. It's not a superpower. I mean, it's not. She, okay, to be he's, smart. He, he's no, no different to, than Professor X. To be smart is one thing. To be manipulated you what, no? is very different. I mean, that's what they're comparing it to, though, for right. real. Like when Professor you said, X, like yeah. X Men. Right. Fuck out of here. He can read minds. He's a manipulator. Telekinesis and all this other shit. Like, he has he powers. Can, this nigga don't have no power, bro. We talking in could, the real world. Just because he what? constructed a goddamn. No, the X Men is fake world. They put this shit in like real world. We have no superheroes in real world, bro. Who your superhero, bro? <laughs> nah, let's get down to it. He's, 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 no, you talking to about it in the that. context of the movie, though. Yeah, like right. they they making real world practical right. superheroes. <laughs> like you got one guy who's schizophrenic with and split personalities. You got the other guy who just like, in our terms, would be like lucky because he keep getting in situations and not dying. Like he, he, he legit was like had a power. Who? Cool. Bruce Willis character, bro. What was his power? He was extra strong and shit, and didn't got down get hurt like that. But he, but he, all, he could see. He could his, see. What's the name? He, uh, Bruce Willis is no different than in the comic book world as Wolverine. But we talking about the real world. This nigga had powers. No, no. I'm telling you, they had the same type shit. It's just that Bruce Willis don't have the shit come the nails. He can do all uh, yeah, but Wolverine he, type shit. I, I caught you just as in strong. That's true though. They get be- anything that happens to him, it just heals. So are you yeah. saying that he has in the real world a very low yeah, tolerance for a very Low tolerance high, of pain. No, high, Not even a high tolerance of pain. Of pain. Right. High tolerance of pain and luck. Take yeah. all that shit. Yeah. So yeah. Some people. Shit, he was lifting shit. Some people are a little That's off a like power. that. That's a power. Some people are off Everybody like that. Everybody can't lift a certain amount of pounds and all that shit. You don't get what I'm saying. Hmm? Hey, we can move I, on. I get what I'm really. saying. I, I, I get it. I understand. This is not compelling content. It's not. <laughs> I was it's probably like, the why? Movie. They're going to skip over this part and be like, yeah. Let's yeah. get to the good part. No, no, but for real. Uh, we, I tried to. I was, um, how was on, your what, weekend? Yeah, I was like, that. Well, how's your week, weekend? It's cool. I've been. Um, I did go down to the experience, NFL experience. Mm. It's at like World Congress on the. I just went down there today. How was um, that? It's straight. It's straight. I mean, like, it, it'll be better if you have, like, 
young kids mm -hmm. with you, you know, like your kids or whatever to go with, because there's a lot of stuff that you can do with them. Like, I mean, it's stuff grown ups can do too, but it's kind of, I mean, I mean, you can do you, like. Did you throw the shit in the tire? You could do that? You, you can, you can't do that. I didn't do that because the lines are like crazy right now too, and I'm just like, eh, it ain't really. You ain't trying to stand no in line lines. like I'm at Six Flags, bro, just to throw a football for 30 seconds. Like, it ain't that. No, they, they, they didn't have no, like, you didn't see anything where it's like, yo, you pay this and you get a pass. They do have that, but I got, I did it on In We Go, and In We Go didn't have that particular pass. But they do got something like that where you can kind of skip the line. Skip it. Okay. Yeah, but it, it's, it's cool, though. It's like they got a, a lot of the combine stuff. Um, I did do this one virtual reality thing where it's like you throw the ball through through tires, but it's virtual reality. So you got the VR joint. Ooh, how was that? It was cool. I came in second place. I took a picture of it. Good job. Good job. It's killing. Okay. With, okay, with the arm. <laughs> no, hey, man, real talk, no, that joke is difficult, though, bro. Like, for real. Acting like you throwing something and you're not really throwing something. Nah, he know. Hmm? Right, we did he that. Got a, he got a little virtual yeah, reality thing that, that he be Oh, okay. Around. Okay. But who's on we the best that. spot? Let's see if he comes second I, place when I, it's over. I, I smoked the ass. You smoked him on it? About three times in a row. I don't know about Ooh. that. Uh oh. No cap. Somebody got memory loss. You see that look up? You see that look up? You see that look up? I need to call <laughs> Black. I mean, I Black mean, busy, bro. You might can call him. I don't know. If uh oh. What is that saying? Where is it at? Is it here or is, it, is that the crib? I might have it in the back. Nah, I okay. This nigga three times. But y'all were playing like live or y'all? It's just like a nah, basic. It's a virtual reality. You oh, put three point shootout. Right okay. Now. Right. We was doing three point shootout, but they have the football shit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smoke this nigga, bro. What was the score, Steve? Oh man, it was high twenties. Yeah. Nah, it was high twenties. He had like twenty one, twenty two. I had high twenties. Oh okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, he he checking out to see see what's going on. Yeah, nah, I smoked him, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's see if you could do it type <laughs> shit. That I came in there, smoked his ass. We gonna see how good Jay Black really is. Jay Black or Jay Good? Bro, don't try to divert, bro. I smoked your ass, bro. No, oh, that's cool. Okay. Nah, you try to put my mans on this, bro. I smoked you, sir. So you got a hand piece with it, with it too? Nah. Yeah, yeah. It's a little, remember, it's a little see him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a little joystick you got to Yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Get your form and everything straight. You see it? Yeah, no, it's there. It's his, there. Shit, his shit was. Well, he coming. He coming from the side like this. He pulling the. Uh, H got a PE shot. Uh, H got to shoot for the money shot. He, he coming like this from the side like the goal line. Yeah, he got. <laughs> he got to shoot for the money shot, bro. I said, anytime I used to hoop, shit. That why he got smoked. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, God, they got me airballing and everything. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he was making the excuses. Yeah, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie though, I, it was difficult. Like, I came in second place, bro, but I, like I didn't have a high score. It was like, mm. you know, what, what was it? Uh, second place is what one out of three. It was we three did people. two. We did two rounds, and then they well, combined the score from both of the rounds. It? How many people? Was uh, three, six. It's like oh, six, six people. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Three. He tried me just then. Though, you yeah. said? I mean, you was, and you was with six people. Yeah, it was, I was going to get six. How many people he said it first? He was like, it was like what, three, three people? Yeah. <laughs> then he tried to get it. He tried to come back with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go right there. What did that say? Boom. Second Let's place. Second place. Out of six people, fam. That's what's up. First place dude smoked me, though. <laughs> it wasn't even close. Like I did eights. <laughs> Damn. Nah, for real. I gave it to him three times, bro. They had three shots at it, bro. Can you hear me black? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. No, it ain't. <laughs> no, you don't not. remember. You don't remember, never remember when they lose. Now he's styling. Uh, yeah, cause you know he got smoked in his own video game, bro. In his like bring your own ball game. to the court. And get, bro, this is my ball. <laughs> now you want to play? Oh, we play no more. Can't nobody play. Can't no, nobody play. play. I bet you can't beat me racing though. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, why did that happen though? Like you lose, so it's always the sort of loser in the hood though. You lose somebody, right, and they yeah, try to come they, with a competitive. They start bringing bringing the yeah, they bring those stuff that they know that they can win. Why are you bringing the bullshit? I bet you I could draw better than you though. That nigga, shut up! Hey, don't nobody be drawing, <laughs> fam. You you on scholarship? Of course you can draw right. better than me. Like a draw better you. You going to a special school for art, bro? Why you trying right. to compete? Nigga, you at scad? Tell me, I bet I can. You got draw a scholarship. Better. You got a full ride to scad. Tell me, I bet you I can draw better than you. Like, uh, duh. duh. <laughs> Of course you can. Yeah, I don't want to play this Papa way. Shot, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know what they did? Hold on. What's that? Say that again? Come on. It's Papa Shot, bro. I don't, I don't know. Educate me. 
I'm not finna force feed you, bro. No, I don't, I'm asking to be. <laughs> is this your new thing for the week? What, what is what? it? You must have heard that over the week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not hey, for, you, you know, you, you crash on you be like, oh, I'm about to kill these niggas this week. I'm not force feed you, bro. This shit, goddamn it, like the Dave and Buster and shit with the basketball. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, I, I know exactly what that is. Oh. I didn't know that was the term for it. Yeah, I had Thank no you. clue at all. See, see. Steve, I'm talking People to you, man. People don't look at you like, as a man. Say, no, look at me you. as a man. I'm talking to you, dog. Don't be trying to gaze onto the side. He want to say as a man, like he appreciates you for putting him on to a like, new yeah. turn. I'm trying, I'm trying to have some eye contact. Bro, he up got, there like this right here. He's like, nah, I ain't going to look bro, at you, Bro, you got man. word of the week, and we ain't What's even know like, it, bro. He trying to congratulate Yeah, he trying to do bro. the word of the week early? I yes. feel you. Nah, it's no, it has nothing. My word of the week has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Oh, but, okay. Okay. It's like niggas say he don't know the trash can called a Herbie Kirby. Like, what are we doing, bro? You don't know the time. You ain't never heard that neither? Bro, no. Oh. Well, say that again. Herbie Kirby. Huh? I know what I am, though. I'm hungry, hungry. What you said? What you ain't lying. You know what a Herbie <laughs> Kirby is? Herbie Kirby? No. No, I've never heard it's of that. It's a trash can you take to the street, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I take my trash can to the street, too, every Thursday. I just put I've never called it Herbie Kirby. In a Herbie never. Kirby, bro. That's no, cool. I never, I never did that. So far, you owe for so two in a row. <laughs> Bring it back. Outside. Trying to redeem himself. <laughs> trying to redeem himself again. <laughs> from that last poll. No, the fact that you was on the flow roller, what? That was hilarious. I wish you was that age. You should have been there. The fact that I don't know what that what. You was oh, on yeah, the flow. We, oh, the man. Yeah, that shit was hilarious. Bro, come on. You was on the flow for what? I don't know what we talking we, about. I don't remember the, when we did the show at his house. The we trash can itself something. is called Herbie Kirby? I can't Kirby? remember it. Yeah, I've never, I can't I've never seen that. My trash moment. can don't have that. But we was on the fucking floor rolling. My I, trash I can. I caught you. I seen. I seen yeah. it. Yeah. That's what you got at the house, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. Thank yeah, you. That's cool. <laughs> Nigga. Nah, bro. That's how you felt when I was like show you the pole from a gulag. Oh, not really, not <laughs> at all. But I'll say the way he just did yeah, that to me. Yeah, he did. Like, That's he did was, that to me like, bro, I, I, this is real. But this, I had already seen it right there. This is there. real, he bro. Like, here go the, here go the like, evidence. No, here go the evidence. Since you won't too. be on my side like <laughs> three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show your ass this week. It's all good. Bro. It's cool. That's all y'all. I'm good, bro. Herbie Kirby. And the Papa Shop, bro. And the Papa Shop. Papa that one, that one I like. That I mean, that makes sense. sense. I, I mean, I, Herbie I, Kirby makes sense as well, I, but I, I just, really don't get Herbie Kirby. But okay, you know, I'll is that it. like the Kleenex of trash cans? Bro, that's what you got, bro. At the house, bro. It just say waste management on the shit. So, e- so it, everybody technically has a Herbie Kirby. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So that's just a general name for putting a trash. That's what can I'm trying to curb. tell you. Okay, so it's not the Kleenex. Okay. Because well. the brand, like, we know waste management. Manage, waste management would be the Kleenex of Herbie Kirby. But see, I think waste management is the, just a sanitation company. That's the company. Yeah, waste management is just a sanitation the company. product is a Herbie Kirby. So it is like that, like uh, Kleenex. You're right, yeah. you're right. Okay. That's okay. All I'm trying to say, bro. It's cool, bro. We just spent like two minutes on Herbie Kirby. <laughs> Let me get the dirt off your shoulders. It's rough out here, man. Hey, I appreciate you uh, looking at that paid in America, bro. Just not on the podcast, though. So. <laughs> getting that audio all. <laughs> when you got. You're gonna say, when you hey. getting in trouble from the teacher. When she wants you to learn, just not right now. <laughs> Y'all used to get in trouble from the teacher. Steve looked like he used to be a troublemaker. Oh, uh, definitely. Was. Mm-hmm. Used to finish your work early and then kind of clash clown with everybody. You was turning over your paper like, oh, I'm done, bitch. Exactly. Like, he was that? He was that? Yeah. He was like, that, what yeah. can you tell me, type? <laughs> hey, low key, I was the same way. Elementary school, I used to finish my work early. Like, do do this through high school and everything. Oh, okay, cool. Well, I mean, I kind of do. <gasps> Bro, what's up with you today? <laughs> <laughs> my guy, <laughs> this nigga is on one. He on one over there. Something happened. Kirby, he Kirby out through yeah, high school. Like, through. this was me all through high school. Damn. Fam. Yeah. This just how I like, did. What, what can you tell me? <laughs> That's just you, though, see? That's, yeah, that that's you. you. That's you was, all the way up until you, how, how old are you, you right now? Me, right. <laughs> what you going to tell What you going to tell <laughs> Like, how old are you right now? I can say what I want to say. I can say what I want to say. Now it's validated because he's an adult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now it don't matter because, it like, he's he an adult. Yeah, but, like, like, in high school, yeah. though, it was like, yeah, yeah. It was like, nah. Wait till I You always getting them notes going home? They used to. Oh, my mama called. Mama get called for work. You get home. You were like. What's your mama phone number? You do your homework. <laughs> I ain't gonna he help you get right. me in trouble. <laughs> the troublemaker, boy. Then he made me go look for your phone number. 
Damn right. Right. You tell your mom, like, yeah, I did that because you told me not to give out my information. Right. <laughs> you said don't let them people call me at work, and that's exactly what she so was So I didn't want her at. to call you at work, mom, right. because then I would have got in trouble for them calling you at work. Right, then you would have been mad twice. So, so what I did no. was told her to do her research. Right. She wouldn't have looked up your number right. and called at work. Oh, like, you you get mad at her. Lock you up, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> no. Hey, question, bro. Mm. Are you a snitch for telling on the police? Hilarious. Mm. By hood definition, yes, you are. That <laughs> 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 I missed it. I missed it. Somebody fell. Oh, he got hung and did fail. He's still on the ground. He, he came back. Oh, there you go. KD. Yeah. But listen, no, I'm saying, what you think, H? That's hood. That's hood law, though. Yeah. If I if I see the police doing something wrong and I tell on them, I call their superiors. I'm a snitch. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the police need to be snitched on, though. Uh, yeah. You ain't gonna call. You, you ain't gonna nah, snitch on the police. You ain't doing it. Nah, that's not your. That's not your forte. It's oh, not shit, your business, bro. You're gonna be like, oh, it ain't your business. What did they? What do you see the police like? Knock out like somebody that stay on your street. Like an old lady. <laughs> an old no, lady, you been no. knowing. Look, you gotta see how Steve. An old yo, lady, though. You know his proposition. The way he about to answer this question is it's an old that's lady. none of my business, God. Hey, it's an old lady that stay across the street from you. She been God, knowing you your whole life. Get your and you shit just off. see the police go like the police. She on her front porch, chilling, drinking coffee, and sipping coffee, and the police just come and punch you in the face. What you say to him? You say you gonna call him? <laughs> <laughs> you go <"You're> stupid. <laughs> I brought you some ice. Oh, Yo. okay. You're going you gonna to try to help her out. What you say to him? He just you. came over here. You got to file a lawsuit or something. That's a lawsuit. You got to file a report. Sometimes you got to let them ass whoop this happen, bro. It might be your blessing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded crazy Look, coming out your mouth. Man. You couldn't even mm. say that with a straight thing. <laughs> Did you know that's it. fucked up? Now, what if that happened now to you? Gotta, what if that, that, that happened to moms? What's going on there? You got a whole half a meal. You got a whole half a meal on the way. Yeah, but how's she gonna get the half a meal if somebody if she need she needs somebody to cooperate her story? How long it's gonna take? I saw I ain't see it. <laughs> I ain't see it. So you ain't see it. Steve, you were right on the front porch. I need you to tell these and, people and what Steve happened. Steve was right so there. So we get out. I'm taking my Herbie Kirby to the track. <laughs> <laughs> I mean to the sidewalk. <laughs> I was taking my Herbie Kirby oh, to the sidewalk. You ass. Oh man, that's hilarious. You say I, you say what if that happened to who? Mon Dukes. What you mean? What if it happened? We ain't telling no no nothing. Like he finna get held down. I'm coming out with the people's elbow out the front porch. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's stupid. Yeah. I'm coming with the Stone Cold Steve <laughs> like, Austin it. clothesline. I don't I don't see nothing. That's that's all I need yeah, to know. See, Say see, less. See red. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a real question. What 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 can happen that's gonna make you see red in life? Cheyenne, uh, I want Cheyenne to answer this right here because uh, I. Uh, what what will make you see red? I don't know. There's been a couple of things make me see red, so I don't want to talk about. Talk it. about it. Do tell. It wasn't even nothing crazy. I just don't like being lied on. Mm. And it was a situation where my very first roommate in college had lied on me extensively. And what was the lie? Uh-oh. I mean, it was minor. It was minor. I mean, compared to what it could have been, it was very minor. But mm. the fact that I, the fact that the AR, the RAs was about to like had to do an investigation and was trying to kick Ooh. me out my dorm. I was like, no, nah, bitch, you gotta die. No, what God, you no. went to Georgia State too, right? Well, at the time, no, my first year of college, I went to Gordon. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So at the time, I had oh, this down roommate. there in Barnesville. Yeah. So going. at the time, um, I was in a co-ed dorm, and my boyfriend at the time was in the at the hall, literally underneath me. So I would spend all my time there, mm-hmm. and she was. I wasn't smoking at that time. I wasn't smoking yet, so she would smoke weed, and basically it came down to her eating my food. Mm. And y'all know me; I'm greedy as fuck, and I don't food. play about my food, especially because my mom bought it, and she was on her food stamps. Just don't eat my and, shit. And college a rough time. You and can't we be got, around but with the that. thing is not we were sharing refrigerators, so she had no reason to like touch my shit. So basically, it came out of that. Like I had, I let her pass with that. She was messy. I didn't really fuck with that either. So I kind of was letting shit slide. And then I just got to a point, which is a very bad thing to do, is to, like, let it just 
You let it boil. Blow, yeah. yeah was, so I, but I, I didn't come at her crazy. I was just like, yo, look, you like, let it blow over. No, I like, I kind of blew up. She and then look, when it blew up, she probably didn't do nothing. Just like forgot to change the toilet tissue. So it was something small. No, it wasn't. It was something as small as her eating my fucking can of Pringles, and I was about to beat that See? bitch ass. So yeah, cause I don't <laughs> so like. I'm not. You do you just. You just go through my food. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's what it's That's how I it started. I was just like, yo, like this is probably like the third time I done found some shit mm-hmm. missing. I asked you about it. You kind of just keep blowing it over, like not shit serious. I don't eat snacks like that. Mm. I eat. I like food. So when I want a snack, I really want it. And this particular day, I wanted my fucking Pringles. They were gone. And yeah. they was gone. Yeah, the red can or what flavor? Yeah. Oh no, they were sour cream. Man. Sour cream. Man. Oh, she remember Jeez. that to the T. Yeah. Jeez. So yeah, she remember that. The fact that they was gone, I was just like, yo. So I waited. I, I, I sat there. I waited till she got back, and I was like, yo, like. First of all, I'm. I'm do you need help with like food or like oh, what's you, going you on? Oh, you going deep into psychology? Yeah, because like. I was like, this is the reason why I switched my major. I was yeah. like, do you need like something? Like, do you need some kind of help? Because I keep finding shit missing, <laughs> and I'm not in here enough to have shit missing. So let's get this out of the way. Because if you need help, I can understand that. She was like, no, nah, like, da da da. She was just kind of yeah. going off. So I was like, all right, cool, bitch. Don't. I don't need you to be on this side of the room. Like, that's not mm. what the fuck we finna do. And then she said, you know, she started going off and she was like, bitch, da 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 da. And I was like, okay, like, I'll let the bitch slide. That's you cool. You swing on her, though. I'll let the bitch slide. Nah. Mm. I was like, I'll let the bitch slide. And she just kept going off. And then she was like, and that's why she said something about my nigga and something. And then she called me a bitch. And I was like, yeah. That was it. Now we got to fight. So. Yeah, they wouldn't let me hit her. It was like the whole dorm hall had heard me yelling at her and like came in the room and was like pulling me out the room. And I was just like, nah, I really got to beat this bitch ass because now she lying on me. Mm. So, what did she say? Um, what was the lie? So basically she had, she called me a bitch. She said I, she had weed in the room. So she lied and said that it was my weed in the room. Um, she was saying some shit about me and my boyfriend, which was very irrelevant. And I didn't get why she was saying it, but whatever. And she was just basically lying on me. She was saying I was sneaking people in my room. And she was about to get me kicked out of my dorm room, which mm. I didn't appreciate. Because, bitch, you get me kicked out, you got to die. Like, we both, I, I told the RA, like, we both got to go. And I got to fight her if we both got to go. Like, this is not going to happen to to just me. Like, so, hey, no. try to take the bed and everything. Yeah, well, I was like, if we going to do this, then we both got to go. And yeah, I got to fight her. On her though. They wouldn't let me. She said she they tried. They wouldn't let me. I tried. Oh. And they, they had to escort her out of the room. Um, for like two days And I was like I don't give a fuck what y'all do But she can't be in there Cause I'm gonna kill that bitch mm. And um, yeah So two days later All of her shit was gone And I got a new roommate Did you ever see her? I didn't see her after that like after Ever? She, ever She don't transfer to school I didn't she even drop see her out. on campus I didn't see her any time after that she ain't got a new new but cell I, made I, in there I knew, I knew it was <laughs> fucked up Cause I don't remember a lot like it's kind of like a blurred moment oh, okay. after that point and i had to have people tell me like i've like you you are a completely different bitch when you're upset like that and i was like yeah i i, I just you blacked out yeah so yeah it's it's only been a few instances like that where i kind of just like lose my shit and i'm like mm. nah, like somebody's got to be hurt at some point in time yeah that's that's um that's pretty deep <laughs> Over a can of Pringles. I mean, I wasn't gonna say that again. But I wasn't gonna reiterate that, but it was. I mean, it was but more it was than the a principle. Can. Yeah, but it's, it's always a small thing that happened because you you was letting everything it's, else go exactly, exactly. And then the small thing happened, and it was just like she was probably chipped like on some like, yo man, yo, like she was, was legit nuts. about to kill me over I had a box to sit Pringles. Like a window away from her and like hear her tell the RA. Everything I did about mm-hmm. like the weed bag, and I was I don't even smoke. I was like I can drug test me right. Like I don't smoke at mm-hmm. all. And I the fact that I had to sit like a window away from her, I was just like, yo, I can't even sit here. Like when she's done with that, call me because I'm going back because I can't even yeah be around her. So yeah, it's I only, mean, to, um, bring up those memories, Cheyenne. I apologize. Oh no, it's cool. <laughs> I'm good. Just Cheyenne. don't fuck with my food. Cheyenne mess around and see that girl again and throw her and hit her upside the head with a, <laughs> a box of Pringles. Right. Like, bitch, come here. Just stupid ass. <laughs> hey, so I was looking at some shit the other day. Uh, today. And uh, 
Here's a question I pose, y'all. So say you, say you're an entertainer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And your boss or agent or somebody in the higher power who like is putting you in good position to succeed mm-hmm. comes and grabs your ass or something like that. What you doing? Um, I mean, me. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like y'all go, give what's the separate, right? Give me your separate answers. For for me, I'm gonna have to find somebody else in position to power. Like, I can't be around that type of environment. What's going on at that point? I'm saying something. For oh sure. yeah, for sure. No, like, no, something's got to be said. Okay, so okay for for, for for female and for men, like in my in my head, I'm thinking like I'm not used to anybody like going toward and trying to grab me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not saying this is right, but I'm sure you've been in plenty mm-hmm. of situations where dudes just like grab mm-hmm. you and it's just like whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as a as a man. If like I'm just like we having a conversation, and then at the end of that conversation, I turn around and walk out the room. But before I get out the <laughs> and room, you out here like, I'm, hey, getting, I'm, I'm like, hey, I'm like, uh, <laughs> <What's up that laughs> I'm like, yo, like, I'm turning around to meet him, be like, oh, you must have made a mistake. Cause I need to see that type of energy that we right. get like immediately. I need to know. I need to see that like, oh my bad, like. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh man, sh- man, I bumped into you know. I need, I need to have that. I don't need, I need to turn to, around and, and then you just you, be like, and you give me the googly eye. I was like, <laughs> fam, I, that, that's the blackout moment. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, like nigga, nah. I was like, that's that's the time you right now where I gotta funny? have some money. So I posted yeah. to go like I guess kind of what you're what you're saying. I did post something that was um it was like a meme or something that said like there are situations that women are uncomfortable in that mm. we can't really just black out in at that moment like you kind of got to be a little calm and not necessarily nice but you kind of got to be like a little passive aggressive to let nigga like don't do that shit again yeah but i don't know how crazy this nigga is so let me not go to fuck off because some niggas are legitimately crazy you 100 right about and that. you don't know that so yeah. instead of just being like hey get the like you can't do that so you kind of just got to be like yo like yeah, yeah good like it's with women i don't think i know it's something that men don't think about as far as being in that uncomfortable situation mm-hmm. where you got to be stern without you got to be stern but also like like Nice. You gotta be you like gotta nice, be, nasty. Yeah. Cause I've seen the dudes like back, especially back when I was like in the club, like college mm-hmm. time. We all seen the dudes like the dude try to holler at, at, at the lady and she don't want to holler back, give him no energy, and then he go to cussing her out, and then it's like on some. But fam, like you just was trying to right, holler at her. You know what I'm saying? You just was trying to holler at her. Stupid bitch. You be like, damn. Yeah, man, yeah. I was just smart two seconds ago. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> I was just smart two seconds ago. <laughs> Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> hey, have y'all ever just like sat back and watched that type of energy though? Yeah, that shit is hilarious. It is hilarious. That shit is funny. And then it's also, I mean, it's hilarious, but it's also like kind of sad no, too. Because I'm very like, sad. oh, like, bro, you do this all day? Like, you was just pressed. <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, that'd be like, the other thing. Like, you was pressed, like, Five seconds ago, like really, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, that 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 type of um, what but do you see, call it? women, I think that? you just line out the response to be like, okay, this nigga's mad, but whatever. But on the flip side of that, though, I've seen plenty of women who like give dude negative energy when he was just legit, just saying hey too. And I know for y'all, that's hard to decipher. Between, it's very annoying. But like, I've I've legit seen like good dudes who would like make a good good boyfriend just like. Not even trying to holler, just like a, a lady walking down the street away and be like, "Hey, how you doing?" What you mean, how I'm doing? I'm like, <laughs> see, I'm not that. Whoa. I'm not that mean. I can how do, your mama doing? Right, I, I can deal with the "Hey, how you doing?" Because I'm gonna say like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" And keep it moving. <laughs> what you mean, what you mean? How I'm doing? No, there's like how this, I look. I'm no, doing. How I look like I'm doing. There's this chart that that I posted that Sashada made about. The fucking flow chart of dating And it's like Oh can I have your number and That job like, was confusing no. too I tried to look at it Oh no yeah. It's fucking accurate It's, it's so Can I have stuff. your number And you like No damn Why well, can't have your number You be like I got a boyfriend Oh damn You can't have friends No Damn Why you can't have friends Nigga because I can't have friends yeah. I don't want friends Yeah I got enough friends Jesus is my friend. Leave me the fuck alone. Like that shit is irritating. And, and, and ladies, um, if y'all don't know it, but at this point, if a dude, if you tell a dude that you got a man, he and don't then, give a fuck. 
Well, not only that, but if he was like, you can't have friends, like, he's not trying to be a friend. Just in case there's some confusion on that. Cause How do, who's confused about <laughs> I mean, Cheyenne. I told a nigga I was Cheyenne. pregnant. Cheyenne. It I told matter. a nigga I was pregnant. He was like, oh, damn. Yeah, like, he was like, oh, you can't get up. pregnant. And I was like. That's A1 for him. Nigga. You already no, committed somebody you can't disgust, get pregnant. Like. <laughs> that see that dudes shit, are sick. That bro. is creepy. To <laughs> we me. sick, bro. That's like creepy. for real. Because it's not even like you're being persistent at that point. It's like I told you no, and you're steadily trying to talk to me. Now I'm fucking irritated. Yeah. I don't like that. I'll see how y'all go through it. It's oh. irritating as fuck. The girl hit me. She said, "I like girls." I said, "We got something coming already." <laughs> <laughs> You ignorant. <laughs> I said, "See, we got something you coming yeah. already." Yeah. No, that shit irritating as fuck. But I, I brought out that up because of the, the Terry Crews incident. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dang, I forgot. I did he allegedly got he allegedly got uh his ass grabbed, <laughs> dick grabbed, one of them things. Yeah. I'm not right. laughing. I'm only laughing because of what D. L. Hughley said. Like, it's not funny. It's just what did D. L. Hughley say? Clue me because I, I didn't look at the video. I could say it like I could hear him saying is like. God made you a muscle so you can slap shit out of people. Like, how you letting them grab your ass? Like, I could see him saying some shit like that. And it's I don't just think like, in a row that Brock, I slick agree with him, bro. <laughs> like, I, like, and your old lady right there. Well, I, I do remember him saying that um, Terry Crews was saying his old lady was the one who told him not to respond. I don't give a fuck. Man, yeah. I'm responding. She, she shouldn't even yeah. have enough space to say that. He should have responded. The I ain't gonna say she should have had the space. She's really no, I mean, she's like, trying to be the clear headed No, one. I'm saying yeah. there, shouldn't, there, wasn't, there like, shouldn't have been enough time for her to say, like, don't respond. Oh, right. She should have slapped the a, shit out uh, of him. Uh, yeah. Uh. No, now what she, she <laughs> could have she did. It's supposed to be the ass picture. You turn around. Yeah, uh. like. So exactly. this is what I'm, in my mind, this is what I'm picturing what happened. He got grabbed. He got t- taken aback because it was like, oh, my God, what happened? And then he went back as opposed to going forward. Because I don't understand how his old lady got in the picture and told him, like, yo, don't respond. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, like my natural how did reaction that would have been, like, been the- yo, bro. Like, I would Thank something you. verbal would have come. That's like, what I'm saying. The, like, the, yeah, that like, space fam, like, for her to even say, oh, no, you should come. That's what, yeah, that yeah, yeah. space shouldn't even been a, there Listen, shouldn't even been a gap in time where out. that happened. Like, fam, yeah. like, no, I'm telling her. Watch out! <laughs> yeah. well, you move on to the side. Yeah. To the side. Yeah. You gotta catch this assault charge. Watch yeah. out! Like, this is, this yeah, is about going to go down. To, we're going to jail. I'm going to jail today. <laughs> like, I'm right. going on. Now I'm not. Yeah. I, I do want to. Like I'm not saying like everybody handles things the same way. Mm-hmm. Like I don't want to make it seem like I'm being insensitive, but I do feel like for that particular situation, something should have been addressed then and there. Yeah. Like I'm definitely saying something. Right. Even if it's not in, in the way that I would like to have said it at that mm-hmm. moment, I'm definitely going to acknowledge, like, did you, you know, I want it to be clear that mm-hmm. this shit is not happening. I definitely would have dog too. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, that, that's a, I mean, it's, I, I want to say that's a tough situation. And I know he it's was very on that juice. Who on that juice? The dude who grabbed his ass, I know he was lit. He, but he had to be something. Had to be. Yeah. I'm saying like, bro, that Let don't see even. How this works. Like, who? <laughs> Ooh. How far? Ooh. He looks. Like, nice. how do you <laughs> even? How do you even? What What in your mind possesses you to be like? I'm about to try this. Hey, I don't think it's nothing man. that possesses you. But I'm saying, I think it's just you. I think you already kind of nip you just like ah. Oh, okay. I'm saying like this, today. To me, that seems like it's a, a nice situation. Wednesday. Grab some ass. It's definitely, I feel like, part liquid courage, but also, he, he, the dude didn't get no vibes in that. Cause I'm saying, if you dealt with your old lady, right? I'm thinking in my mind, right? And maybe it's hard for me to think, cause that's just. But if I'm somewhere with my old lady and somebody else is here, I would think that they would be looking, be like, okay, yeah, I can't mess with this dude today. Like he, he got somebody. But that's you the know thing. He don't. That dude he don't care. care. Yeah. You gotta think like for you to. Do- for you to do that in front of some somebody with they with they wife right there, like you don't give a fuck. He probably knew the outcome's gonna be the same thing. Would it happen? Like, oh, he yeah. ain't gonna do nothing. It so it had to be somebody with some serious power in Hollywood. Yeah, for him to just it was like up. an agent, somebody agent. And from my understanding, it's Michael B. Jordan agent, a whole bunch of other people agent. But yeah, I mean, I, of course, agents get you jobs. But I'm like, you would have thought it would have been somebody who like it's his movie. You the know only thing I I could say about that is. Just coming from, I don't know, like how long ago this happened, or if he knew the ins and outs of 
Hollywood or whatever if he knew who was who. Hollywood like, is you a safe know? place, man. I, oh, I know, but I don't, I don't know if he knew who this or how much power this person had. Or if he really recognized how much how much power this person had. And just and was just like, I can't say shit. Mm-hmm. I ain't going. Hey, look, on some mad shit, bro. Like, swing first, find out later. later ask right. questions later. Right. Like, I don't know what we talking about. Like, yeah, that's that's a crazy situation. Speaking of, because I like don't if you ain't do nothing, then don't speak on it, bro. That's how I feel, bro. Well, that's, I can't that's say the that. Thing. That's why I'm saying yeah. I don't want to sound insensitive. I can't say that because I've I've person. I have been in a situation where that could have happened. You're a female. Right, I'm not. I'm just saying, as far as your mental psyche, like, who am I to say what you can and cannot speak on then or later? I hear you. You know, like it still happens to you. You know, I hear you. I just find I'll I'll say this right. If we're in that situation, if I'm if I'm in that situation, even if I ain't fighting, we gonna figure out what the fuck wrong with you. No, we like we gonna have a talk. (laughs) Like we ain't fighting. Like we gonna have a very harsh talk right then and there. For me, I understand what you're saying, but I'm like, I'm not leaving there on some like. Yeah, that just. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, for yeah. me, nah. Like but I can't. I can't. You know. I, I, don't I got you. I, I respect and that. Say they should. Say I, something. I just don't see myself leaving that, having that conversation in the car with my old lady. Like, yo, Absolutely. dude, touch yeah, me. Like, like, what am like, I supposed <laughs> to do with that? <laughs> like, like, so I was in a meeting, and uh, I know my wife looking nah, at me like, you should have did something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need you looking at questioning me. Like, yeah, why you it, ain't it, do nothing? Like, nah. exactly, exactly. That's crazy though. Did y'all watch the Ted Bundy documentary docu series on Netflix? Uh uh-uh. uh Man, I made that shit in a day. Really? In the car. In the car? What? Yeah. I was I was in between picking okay. up people and driving. I believe, nigga, that is good. That nigga is sick. Ted Bundy. He was was he a serial killer? Mm hmm. He counted, he counted, recanted, or counted at least 30 women. But this nigga was on a roll. <laughs> like, I reading about it mm-hmm. and then watching the docuseries is nuts. He, he, there's a reason why I like psychology. Because people are demented. Yeah, people be going through some stuff, man. Like, to make them think that that's normal behavior. But then how they just casually live their life, I just, I, it's, it's insane. People be legit sociopaths yeah, out here, It's bro. a good docuseries. Oh, no. <laughs> like, He's legit. a legitimate sociopath. Like, like, going to work, doing, like, ain't nothing happening. Like, then, Dexter? Like, you ever watch Dexter? On yeah, now, that's, that's a that crazy show, nuts. too. <laughs> you say Dexter? Yeah. yeah. Is that about a serial killer? He's a serial yeah. killer that kills Kill serial, serial killers. killers. Yeah. It's an interesting show. I've never seen like the complete series, but I, oh, no, I've no, seen I enough. I that series. Which I love to watch it, man. No, it's a lot I'm of weird. Stuff. I like shit like that. I like seeing how how gotta, far people's minds can go. You got to be careful what you feed your mind, Shane. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm not demented. Shit. Sure. I'm not going to kill you today and then come up to the podcast hey, and tweet man. like, damn, what happened with Steve? Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, people, people's minds are... Interesting. Yeah, no, no, Very it, it, it definitely is. I was uh, speaking of Netflix. Like, I, I don't know if y'all saw the Fire Festival joint. Yeah, that shit was funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it's funny. It's crazy, bro. I watched them. I, I even, watched them one on Hulu too. Me too. Yeah, I, I, I downloaded a free child just to watch yeah. it. On Hulu. <laughs> <laughs> that's I'm what like, they. I, I mean, that's, they did their job. Yeah, that's what they, they wanted did. you to they do, did. right there. Nah. For the people that don't know what happened. Uh, so Fire Festival is basically. It was it was built as like this luxury festival in the middle of the Bahamas, right. where like um, influencers were supposed to be there along with some you know celebrities and basically Instagram models and people with two million followers mm-hmm. and you don't know exactly what they do but they all were supposed to be at this festival mm-hmm. and Ja Rule was helping this guy named Billy I forgot his last name I forgot his last name too. but uh, it just yeah. turned out to be like a disaster. it a disaster. was the greatest festival that never happened like. Straight up disaster. <laughs> like, it just did not happen at people all. Were, people were spending like hundreds of thousands of dollars for villas, and they didn't have villas. They were spending like $2,500 for tickets, and they're supposed to have like luxury tents, and it was like refugee tents from FEMA, like FEMA from tents. FEMA tents. Like FEMA, FEMA tents. tents. So, I mean, basically <laughs> what happened, the guy had. So ja Rule was a part of this? Like yes. Was, yes. Yeah. Ja Rule like was. Or no, no, he was ja supposed to be like part owner. Vis- yeah, he was the quote unquote. Oh, he's going that bad. But go ahead. No, he the dude, he ain't getting no jail he time. Ain't get no the jail dude time. ain't no going to jail. 
Dude, he went to jail. Yeah. For scamming? No, for all, like, dude money was like. Money laundering, <laughs> like, yo, he got so much money out of this. I'm talking about billions of dollars. Bro, so billions? Like, no, uh, I mean, billions. in total, billions. As far as like his sponsorships, you said billions. Cheyenne? No, it went billions. You don't think all those no, sponsorships no, no. added up was in the That's billions? That's a thousand million dollars. Okay. <laughs> it he but got some shit from Comcast. He was getting everything. He got every kind of sponsorship you could think of. Like, fam would have an employees spent put like two hundred thousand dollars on the Amex card. Like people, be, okay. So there's one part in the doc. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which documentary? Hulu or the Netflix. Netflix? Okay, because they—I mean, you—you you should watch both of them. You should, yeah, they, because they, they tell they—they yeah. they tell two different. I mean, they both talk about the same thing, but they tell from two different perspectives. So, like, the, oh, Billy McFarlane is the guy that co- that founded Fire Festival. The Hulu joint, they interviewed Billy, so you kind of got his view, and they, you know, they talked about everything that happened. But the Netflix was done by. Um, the advertising agency that they hired to fuck Jerry, yeah, yeah, the to do media, to do uh, um, the social media marketing. Mm-hmm. So on the Netflix doc, there's this guy named Andy, mm-hmm. who is like <laughs> the. Um, <laughs> took for the team. <laughs> he he is like he worked on the festival, it's right? Not funny. And he just happened to be homosexual, and so at one part of the doc, he sucked a nigga dick for. Uh, you heard about this? Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to go into took it. One for the team. He didn't do it, he but he was it, he was he ready. Was he was about to take one for the team, and I and then you know, so I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, bro, like, really, and this might be sick way of thinking, but I'm thinking like, bro, how much faith you got in this festival, bro? That you about to like go down on the dude for like a hundred and seventy five thousand dollars worth of water? If you got to get to that point, there's no festival. It's no festival, fam. I'm That's what I'm saying. Like, why am I why am I trying to take one for the team, why? bro? Like, but then this, he did it for fucking like water. For water, like, fam. It was like Evian water. For water. Yes, what? bro. For water. Because you know they're like, on the island, you know, yeah. what I'm they gotta have water down it. But just imagine that though. Like, how can we put that in, in something? That's like that's like H telling you, like, yo, um, we gonna rent out like. The lights about to be off, fam. Like all the electricity about to be out, but I need you to. Um, I got somebody down here. They'll hook us up, <laughs> but I need you to. You know what I'm saying? You go look at H and be like, "Nigga, I slap H." Like, like, <laughs> Let no. It be clear. <laughs> like, what do you t- like? Who do you think I am? Yeah, that shit was. Wild. That dude legit was ready to take one for the team, yeah. bro. He I like. He was already gay though. Yeah. Yeah, but it don't matter but though. But it was still like he was kind of like. I'm really about to do this. Yeah, like, like no, my he whole been, life. He could have been straight, and they told him he got to go down and smash this this lady for the same thing. I think it would have been out of pocket too. Like, bro, like, I'm not smashing this bitch. What? I don't water. even. You know what I'm saying? Like for water, fam. Like, <laughs> like, like bitch, you better go to Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we talking I'm not about? Doing this. For water? Yeah, I it was like, wild. She bad, bro. <laughs> I, I was gonna, no, yeah. honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I think that would have been the first question. Like, what she look like? What she look like, she bad, bro? There's like, a difference. She if like? she look <laughs> decent, you gonna smash for some for some water. But you gonna do that? You ain't gonna do it for the water. You will do that for for your own benefit. Shit, we get water out the deal. That's what's up, <laughs> right? Dude the said he went. Plus. Dude said he went down there ready to take one for the team. And, and the nigga was like, Nah, you ain't got. You don't have to do this. He hit him with the Drake. You don't have to do this. You know? So, <laughs> but okay, so here that the was cra- Billy's right hand man or something. No, this oh, is just no. somebody a part of he the He was festival. part of the festival. But the crazy part Who is, asked though. asked him to do this? Billy. Billy did. Billy asked him, like. But the crazy part is, the way the guy explained it, the dude who he was supposed to go, uh, like, blow, didn't know anything. Yeah, so he was, was just of, like, he was about to go down there on some, like, yo. He was just fucking with him. Maybe maybe he Probably. was, but I'm saying like he went down there prepared for the action, and yeah. this dude don't even know what's going on, so he's just imagine. When he caught drift, he was like, "You don't have bro, to do this. It's all right, bro. Just pay me later. Right, pay me later. Nah, I keep it chill. I'd be like, what type of performance I got to pull off to get a hundred and seventy five thousand dollar worth of water? He got to be How confident. How much she expecting, bro? <laughs> <laughs> but man was confident in, in, in his uh, blowjob capabilities, bro. Like, he was like. <laughs> 
Yeah. He was like, good. fuck it. At that point, he was like, bro, I like, gotta take it. Like, how confident you gotta be? I gotta, bro, I exactly. She can't put me in no handcuffs or none of this yes, shit, bro. bro. Good, bro. No, she oh, ain't, ain't, for she ain't spanking me or none of that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ain't ain't no budget shit. What are we shit, doing? No, what are we doing? It's a regular fuck. What are we doing? I don't want no feet in my face. I ain't sucking no toes. I ain't sucking no toes. I ain't no ass, none of that. For five, you you probably do it like a little something to everything. I gotta go open up the door for somebody. Y'all talking about right. so Wow. I mean, I was trying to get somebody to do it, but Asia y'all know what's, what's disappeared. But if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. it both okay, so they both kind of give like a different perspective of of the doc of of the entire festival. I'm still Hulu kind of breaks it down. What the hell the festival is for? So it's supposed to be why like, are people paying this much I'm money? I'm about to tell you. So it's supposed to be like the next big festival, like Rolling Loud, Coachella. Mm -hmm. But what made this one different was it was on exclusive island, mm -hmm. so quote unquote. It was um, Pablo Escobar's old like island. Mm -hmm. So they it was supposed to be said like this is his island. We're written it out. We got all these villas. We're gonna have like good music. Um, Travis Sky, like they had like all these. Which they didn't, but they had all these top performers there, and it was it was supposed to be like you know a Coach, a Coachella weekend, mm -hmm. just on an island. So which made it even more like exclusive kind of thing. So they hired all these social media influencers to kind of post this elaborate event that was never gonna happen. So these people like say, like you said, Travis got did he know about this? Festival. These people so, apparently thought they were getting paid, bro. They right. didn't get paid. Though. A lot of people talking about Travis got in there. Mm -hmm. They sent them. Oh, oh! So the the kicker was Blink One Eighty Two was supposed to be there. The headliner, like, yeah, like one of the headliners. <laughs> and they was like, they pulled out like the day of and was like, well, they were never really there, but they were like, yeah, yeah we do the regret. So the these like, people get to the island and what's going on? Nothing. Nothing. It's oh, a whole bunch of people there, bro. They pull up, they get off, and they go to school buses and get drove to a bunch of t uh, FEMA tents. <laughs> they all their luggage is in like a freight, like you know, on the eighteen wheeler freight, uh, freight carts. All their right. luggage is in there. They don't even have a system. They just throwing them fucking they baggages. They tell them to go find whatever tent you find. You go lay in. These niggas get fed cheese sandwiches. You <laughs> decide salad. Mind you, they don't spend like twenty five hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> oh, this is epic. Yeah, yes. they don't spend twenty five hundred dollars. This ain't like no. Going to South like, by Southwest, you yeah, don't like spend three hundred. Like going to Coachella for the weekend, it's like they spent money. Oh, this is epic. Yes, yes. it's an epic fail. Like people, I don't know if Shane said why I had dipped out, but they it was in the plans for them to be in a um private like private plane quarters. Yeah, no, no, they were supposed to have <laughs> a like private a private plane. plane. Like yeah. it was supposed to be private jets. All they did was huh? they flew yeah. on a seven forty seven. And changed like a vinyl branding to like Firefest, and that was it. So the wow, yeah. So imagine it's like it's like you pay twenty five hundred dollars, but in your mind you think like, all right, cool. I'll just um you know I'm getting a private jet and all of that to be there. Fly. So I'm thinking everything copacetic. I get there, I'm basically on a Delta flight to the Bahamas. <laughs> but basically. you don't pay to have a private jet, you know what I'm saying? But you like, oh no, I'm on, I'm on. So imagine you got a hundred. You got like 200 passengers on the plane or whatever. <laughs> you showing the cheese sandwich? With one, with one cherry tomato. Bro, y'all can eat It makes lettuce, bro. bro. No. But then the crazy part is the lady, right? The lady said that she didn't get paid, the caterer. She didn't get paid, so she had to feed all these people. She emptied out her savings account. $50,000. To feed, fi to feed these people. Like 50000 yeah, yeah, yeah. She still ain't got paid, bro. I'm like... That's the biggest finesse ever, bro. Super finesse. That's but the this finesse. is the fucked up part. He came back from all of that. Started scamming again. Again. Oh, so he got off. No. No. He Not man, on the fire. No. Place. Your no, man your off. man was out on bail and started, and started scamming, scamming, scamming people. Scamming what again. did he start doing? So he started selling these Met Gala tickets, the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show show tickets. Like as it like an ex he called his company um, NYC VIP Pete, access, yeah. and he would just be like, "Hey, we got these tickets. You wanna like we got these exclusive Met Gala tickets. You can purchase them right now. It's too like scamming. This nigga been scamming his whole life. Yeah, and nigga scam crowns and like. And then they say grade. he made a hundred thousand dollars off of that scam in the amount of time that he was out on bail. What they giving him? He got he did he's doing six years. That's it. White That's collar what crime. I said. White collar yep. crime, bro. That brings me to this point. 
Black people, we got to stop using guns to rob people. We got to learn <laughs> bruh, how to code. Bruh, <laughs> we got to learn niggas, how bruh. to code, bro. You get like, less time. <laughs> I'm saying, he did, I'm talking about this dude don't finesse people out of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. He doing six years. And we not even talking about just like, we talking about coming. You robbed a liquor store, you know, for 15, right. bro. And look, I know they can't account for all that neither. No, no. They can't account for all that. He, can't, he, he had to pay restitution. Uh, I'm sure he do, but I, I don't. I don't know that. I don't know. But he go to. He go to. This is the part though that tripped me out, right? So my man, everybody know he in trouble, but he still got a company that he's running. Like the Fire Festival is part of this company, Fire Inc. And like mm-hmm. they had a brilliant idea to basically book talent, like big name talent. Mm-hmm. They built an app where you can yeah. go in and be like, "Yo, I want to get Ja Rule to perform at my event." You click it. You send him an offer, Ja Rule can accept or decline the offer. You know, so kind of take out the middleman, take out the booking ja agent or whatever. Like or any, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but so this was the company that it was building, and the festival was supposed to be like the luncheon pad for the yeah. app. So he got a he got a full staff of employees. I'm so, talking about a full staff. Like they they got paid. They got paid, or at least a portion of their money while they were working there. But. So your man at the so end, yeah, of, course. Yeah. So at, of course. So at the end of at the end of it all, yeah, of your man put these people on a conference call, and he tell them like, yeah, um, <laughs> they said basically, we we're not. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. But Nobody payroll has been suspended indefinitely. <laughs> <laughs> on a conference call. On a conference call, your whole company. Yeah, I'm not firing anybody. Wasn't John Rule on that call too? I don't know about. I don't know if he was on that. That one. call, okay, yeah. But he running a company. He gonna tell all of his employees. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not letting anybody go. How John Rule didn't make sure he checked the boxes though. How he ended up just trusting this. Dude? I think that's the fucked yeah. up part. Is like his involve. I feel like his involvement in it may not have been so much of the money. He, as he says, he was the visionary for the festival. He was the face, bro. That's all it was. But. You were the face. Man, you had you had to know at some point, like when when money wasn't right, when she, you had to go down there and see, like if the venue was so, nothing was done, like nothing was done. They got Ja Rule on tape asking people, like, "Yo, man, uh, so you think we can really pull this off?" Niggas was like, <laughs> "Cause the they locals, don't look like, yeah, he locals was local like, like nah, no, it's, it's not like y'all be can't." Ja Rule was there. Yeah, yeah. Right. He bro. was there eating the cheese sandwiches. No, no, no. no, no he no. wasn't there for that part. But so prior, so they basically they were trying to pull off this festival in like a six month span, which is impossible for that big of a festival with all that they had included. That's damn near impossible. It is impossible. And so they wanted to do like these promo promo shots and like videos of them, kind of you know, kind of foreshadowing what the festival would be like. And he was there saying like, "Yo, it's gonna be bomb, and we are gonna have all this shit, and none of that shit." Happened. So he I, he was there for the initial creative process of things. I feel like on a step by step, I feel like he was probably there too, just not on the financial end of things. I don't think he was there for. That's crazy, bro. which I think is insane. Crazy. The ultimate yeah. finesse, bro. The super finesse. So it just kind of lets you know, like how people trust people with like anything. And he gonna come back and be straight, right? In yeah, six years, he gonna start another company, bro. Like you know, it's gonna happen. They banned him from like doing. Um, I forgot. I can't think of it exactly, but they banned him from kind of being like the spurhead of certain creative content. But he's he just gonna he's gonna, he gonna do like he did with the other with mm-hmm. the VIP thing. He's just gonna have we'll his man run the company. Else to do it. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. People be getting away with Sheesh. everything, man. I know this is all random. that money, bro. Sheesh. All that money. Yeah, that's wild. People be trusting folks. Mm, mm, mm. Two hundred thousand. Like I'm talking about. Eat. Imagine bro, how somebody. You just- Hey Steve, um, then, I got you back, bro. But I need you to put like I need you to put a thousand. No, get you a lot. Wait, get no, you, get you, get the you what? Far. Let me that tell mouthpiece. You, yeah, you out. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, he'll talk. But then let me tell you the fucked up part. So, say for instance, for Den Fest, right? If Den got these bands, mm-hmm. I said if Den, if Good got these bands, like you know he had the bands for the fest, mm-hmm. and he was just like, hey, look, it's gonna be a wild fest. We recommend you don't bring no like money, like no cash, no card. Just bring your bring your band. And we recommend you put like three hundred dollars on there a day. Minimum, like minimum, minimum three hundred dollars okay. a day is what we recommend for you to, you know, be for you to just be comfortable, fully funded fully, yeah. for the festival. We a don't want you day. to be out here like you know with no money. So. This is a full weekend for two weekends straight. 
that nigga. Folks on putting folks putting like legit putting like fifteen hundred dollars on on Thanks. like, which well, is a good. I mean, the, the wristband the is a good idea. It's a good idea. I'm just saying the. I don't forget they had like five thousand people or something had, like that at the festival. It was. These niggas were stuck bro. in the airport. They couldn't Big go home. Dabbies. Ridiculous. <laughs> so I said, "Why is the band a good idea? How you deduct from that?" But no, it's just like it's just like having a cash out card. It's oh, just like on a, your like wrist. A, like a QC code. I mean, uh, the little code yeah. that you could like scan your phone. Oh, kind of, or like yeah. an Apple like Pay kind of. Yeah. Yeah, the idea was brilliant. Yeah, the idea good, but he did that so he can keep cash because right. he was running out of money. So it was like, okay, cool. I have these people come in and. They Fun all is. these people come sending money, yeah. so now we got more cash. Like he basically was getting money to solve a problem, like every time. So instead of like looking at it like okay, borrow for Peter to pay Paul, right? Yeah, literally. like he, but he kept. You know, most people do that like once or twice. He did that until like the entire the entire festival. time. Like to like the, the festival legit was starting, and he looking around like, oh y'all, we can't do this. Like, like the day of, <laughs> the day of, like oh, oh man, we can't we can't, can't make this we can't make it work. Festival. Yeah, yeah, like, like that. So he was on the island too. Yeah, bro, he was there yes. the whole time, bro, the entire time. Finesse, and he made Super it off finesse. the island. That's how you know he was around a bunch of people who like. They did ban him from the island though. But he so was around the wrong people. He, yeah, like you can't be around. Like you can't take me for twenty five hundred and then be like in my face smiling, like. No. Everything cool and all hunky dory. Like no, I would have quit. Like, Y'all got me fucked up. Like Not bro, for this shit. <laughs> What are we doing? Folks just sitting there like they stuck on the island, bro. That's wild. Can't do nothing. Hey, didn't on the Black Panther win the screen at this Guild Award the other day? They did. They did. Mm, I, I didn't see it. Try to think about that. Deserving? Well, yeah. Definitely deserving. Yeah, I did see that. I, but I'm, I never watched the awards all the way, so. For real? Yeah. Damn, man, I think I after a while, I kind of just stopped watching. Yeah, I was I like, I was just about to say, I watched the awards. Watch no forever award now, I'm thinking show. about it. Like I, I really legit look at I only look at the awards for like the performances anyway, you know what I'm saying? So it's like Grammys I might tune in, you know, or like BET Hip Hop Awards I tune in to see the performances, but I ain't really watching to see who won the yeah, awards. Yeah, yeah, like, I'm watching more stuff, so but I, I couldn't even tell last time. I did. No, I'm lying. Last time I did, I didn't even watch it all the way through. I just watched Beyonce perform. That was when Lemonade was Beyonce like three knows. Years ago. Yeah, that was it. Carter hyphen Carter. Uh, Steve and I was having a conversation, but I'm gonna say that for another episode. No, say what you got to say, bro. No, that we need that we need more time. No, what say time what you is got it? To say, bro. We need more time. No, actually, go go yeah, ahead, bro. No, we need more time. Well, how much <laughs> that's time a whole that's a whole episode. Beyonce? Like, no, I mean, oh. Beyonce is related, but the theory that I have, we need a whole episode to go into that. Ooh, I'm gonna say that for next theory? week. Ooh, I like these. Oh yeah, bro. No, it's next week. It's called a hook, Steve. <laughs> like just like, it's, it's, it's called a hook. <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs> Let it ride. <laughs> And y'all can tune in next week for that conversation. Yeah, but I have I have a I have a theory. Go ahead if I spoil it though. No, no just chill, bro. Like no. chill. No, like, like for real. Like like Y'all know what no, I have not real, been able to get out of my mind since I had it. What? When H ordered that fucking Domino's like five cheese pizza. That's what you want? I swear to God, I will bust that shit down right now. I gotta now. get something to eat for real. I'm gonna head like to, a whole um, medium to the farm. What's good, bro? By myself. I will kill that the shit. Five, the, the, the five, five piece, cheese. The five cheese. Domino. Ever since I had it here, I'm like, damn, that shit was good. I don't even fuck with Domino's like that. Now I was about to say, where is a Domino's? Nigga, I, I ain't no seen idea. a Domino's Every time in I see Atlanta. one, I'm like, oh, damn, they still here. The last Domino's I know was like on 10th and Spring, and they knocked that down. There's some high rises going up now. It's one on, they just put, in, put one on uh, Marietta Street. Okay. I know that. They building so quick, man, there. in the city. I forgot yeah, about that chuckle was right down 10th and Spring. Yeah, that shit been gone. Yeah, it's been, like it's legit been gone for a while, but like they got people moving in. That's that like place. across the uh, what is that fourteen? That mosque. Um, they got a whole slew of apartments right there, and I was like, "Damn, that happened quick." Oh yeah, you talking no, about talking like about? behind Atlantic Station mm -hmm. on the other end? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about because it's a little golf. Um, a little, mm -hmm. yeah, right there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Atlanta growing. They are pushing their, all the black folks out. I Facts. better get some money about some property. I'm going to say <laughs> that's it. Hey, um, I'm the business, my John. I'm hungry. Uh, me too. No, I got my I got my bro wear this week though. Ooh, I got my shout out of the week. Uh, yeah. bro, where Q at? OG Bobby Johnson. Oh, sorry, wrong. 
Q. No, not school. Schoolboy school Q is working. I was going to say, I was going to say, I think he's coming up with something. They ain't talking about. <laughs> what? OG Bobby Johnson? Nah, he no. talking shit. He talking he shit. It didn't. It didn't, though. It was like two years. No, two OG, years it came ago. out like longer than that. Yeah. But that's cool, yeah. Yeah, where he at? Chicago. That's where you from? Chicago? Yeah, bro. Aw. I'm serious. Is he from Chicago? I don't know where you from. What'd I say, bro? You said Chicago? I'm asking I said, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. What else you need, bro? No, your tone was sarcastic. Yeah, you had it was sarcastic tone, yeah. We don't know if you're being serious today, Steve. You've been on something else. Yeah, you've been on you've been on the road today. I ain't been on no road. No, you, you have, bro, for real. What's going on? You want to talk about it? Bro. Right now, the Herbie Kirby is, bro. Oh. <laughs> Look, the face alone. Nigga, Fam, know the we've, fuck? Been, we've been down this road before, <laughs> you know bro. What the Papa <laughs> shot is. Yeah. I mean, not in no terms of. <laughs> Life, <laughs> nigga, no. <laughs> have you ever heard of a uh, pop? What'd you say? Poppy shot? Pop a shot. Pop a shot. Not in the terms of no. That, words. like, the exactly. basketball shit. Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I thought that's what I was thinking about, basketball. You haven't heard of a Herbie. Game shit, man. Yeah. yeah. You haven't heard of Herbie Kirby though, right? Nah, yeah. Okay, cool. We nobody else did either. It was just Steve. You heard of Herbie Kirby? Herbie Kirby? Yeah. It's all good. You ain't gotta act like you do. It's cool. It's a movie? Nah. <laughs> you heard of a Herbie Kirby? Okay, cool. Steve, you just you you wealth of knowledge, bro. Like <laughs> Today is his day. Bro. Today is your Today day, is bro. His day. You legit own one Track by yourself. Take it to the street, bro. It's all good. That's what that shit called. Bro. Herbie it's Kirby. Good, that's gonna be the name of the episode too. They don't need to. Bro. It do, bro. Herbie Kirby. That's that's enticing. It made me want to click. Kirby. I ain't never heard of that. For it's real. signed the weed man. I just sent on the curb. Herbie. Oh. Okay. Oh my bad. Okay. Cheyenne. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you try to get people ideas out here. Like, hey, for Herbie Kirby, right here. I just Cheyenne try to get people ideas. Oh, I got one more. What's up? You know Darius Love Fall is, bro. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, redeem yourself, <laughs> y'all, man. Y'all Wait, know, look at his face. Know. Look at his face. They ain't no, no redeem. Yeah. He don't know. It's too, it took him too long. <laughs> it's a, it's a it is a it person. It is a person. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, that's cool. Uh, you you got to be like black to really know do, about do, that. Do, <laughs> oh, don't be out here revoking people black cards. <laughs> Your black card. <laughs> you, you close to getting revoked, though. You know who Darius Love Hall is? Nah, I don't. Say this. Who is Darius Love? Look, homie over here thinking too. You know, you know, know nigga named Darius Love Hall. The nigga from Lo- Lorenz take care of the Lord John, bro. She ain't saying something about some poetry. Oh, that nigga named sound fictional Darius Love Hall. Nigga, I mean, what? It, it was fictional. I know. I'm just, it just sounds like it don't sound good. Like I got you. I got you. I mean, now, if you would if, if if you would have said Craig. Oh no 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 no! Let's see who a uh, day day. If you didn't know who day day was, then we really gonna take your blood. I knew card. a nigga named day day. That nigga was wild. <laughs> I know a nigga named day day. It's a rapper named day day too. What he at? <laughs> four four. Four four. He out here like that? He's chilling. What niggas got to go, bro? Where else I'm going, bro? I ate. Hey, a soldier boy say he from Simpson Road. Was zone one. This- Look, I heard. Look, I heard that. I immediately hit up my zone one uh, oh. correspondent. <laughs> no, you're and he not. He probably sir. told me no. No, he's not. <laughs> my correspondent. My zone one correspondent. He's not. He's not at all. Yeah, I'm mad you put that on the airways, bro. He's not from Simpson Road, bro. I mean, I'm talking about. He said Simpson Road. Big zone soldier. One. Soldier big soldier. Man? West side. Bro, he not. not. I mean, he told an elaborate story and everything. He was like. Big soldier, Draco. Drake. <laughs> that nigga's insane. Big soldier out here for Big real. So- soldier yeah. man's out here. Mm. <laughs> soldier man's out here. Ain't from the west side, bro. Not at all. For those that don't know, because black is not on the mic, he said it must be, must two, be sides. two sides. I feel like you would know though. I mean, he said Simpson Road, and I look. Okay, check this out. I ain't putting your business out there, but if anybody knows somebody live off Simpson Road, my man would know if somebody live off Simpson Road. Know. I kind of feel like you ain't Soldier Boy statue, and, and like ain't never like he don't. Nah. Th- my Zone One correspondent don't know. Ain't never heard. 
You no, feel me? Ain't nobody like, yeah, you know, I remember. Oh, yeah, 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 nobody I'm... ever said, I remember Soldier Boy from around here. Ever. That, that's what I'm saying. Said no nigga that's on the I'm west saying. side ever. Somebody would, would give me some type of. I still like you know what it is? Soldier Boy was inside. He went outside. That's all it was. He would just stay yeah. in the house all the time. He could have been from Zone One, bro. Bro, no. He could have lived off Simpson We're Road. Not giving him that much. Credit. I'm saying he ain't go outside. No, he even talks about it. He said he sold crack, so he had to go outside to sell crack. Bro, you gotta go outside. He said he crack. sold crack, bro, on Simpson Road, and and he was like his mama. Um, and nobody knew his mama. Nobody, yeah, didn't nobody know his mama. Come on, and he man. said that uh, he him and his mom he, he had went and bought Gucci Man first mixtape, and then he was like. Next thing you know, he saw Gucci Man on TV. He was like, "Man, I can do this too." And nobody seen this nigga outside. And nobody yeah, he knows crack. his mama. He lying. Sometimes you gotta just check people hood fashion. Just be like, "How much was crack back then? Right. You, how much you were selling crack for?" Right, pound for pound. Let's go. Well, he you selling pounds of crack. There's something else going on. See, Cheyenne don't even know right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, I'm saying as far as if he knows how much it was, he should be able to tell you how much it was. <laughs> He should be able to go for it, bar for bar, pound for pound. I appreciate that though, because yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, crack ain't sold by the pound. I, I, I'm just gonna, I, I'm throw, I, I don't want you to tell nobody. No, I know that. I know that. I'm and aware. we ain't gonna discuss how we know how much crack. I'm, I'm but, aware. But I'm just I'm saying, aware. crack. You see somebody I'm got aware. crack by the pound, you be like, <laughs> it's a problem. <laughs> no, it ain't real. He got some soap or something. There's else. a like, problem. <laughs> you better help me, bro. I got a pound of crack. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Your whole metric system. <laughs> <laughs> you got a pound of crack. Deep, <laughs> Why do you have that? That's deep, <laughs> but we say all that to say, uh, Big Soldier per our zone one correspondent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he is not from Simpson Road. Yeah, oh man, man. I don't know what cuz from, bro. You, you say, say from, from Bumpton? Bumpton? Yeah. He said that on the Breakfast Club. Like, what are we talking about, bro? And I thought you were from and Mississippi, a, though. A, like Alabama somewhere. Bro. Yeah, like hey, yeah. Bro, it don't take nothing but to look it up, bro. DeAndre Wade, the, the government. DeAndre Wade. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this right here. I'm I'm born in Atlanta, but I raised in Macon, Georgia, on the west side. I, I stayed in Green Meadow Atlanta. Townhouse, apartment six to seven. That is so DeAndre Cortez. Wade. Okay. That's deep. I was gonna say that's. Yeah. I never so heard of that. No, that's on, the, that's on the west side. Of the born map. in Atlanta, was raised in Riverdale. At age mm-hmm. fourteen, he moved to Atlanta from, at like, six. At, at 14, the Carolinas he moved to or something. Batesville, Mississippi. Mm. Yeah. So he from like one enough. You know, he probably stayed in the place for like six weeks and said that he was there when he was moving around. Yeah. That don't mean you. That probably. Stopped. So he was like he stayed. He lived on Simpson Road, but they got evicted in two <laughs> weeks. So technically, no, he sold he crack got for a week. No, he probably stayed there for sixty days. Mm. It take about sixty days for you to get it. If he's if he stayed there, <clears throat> I even give him ninety. If he stayed there, paid first month's rent. Second month, he fucked up. He got evicted the next. So he probably stayed there for like three months. So my word of the week is <laughs> doldrums. It's a state or period of sadness or depression. A state or period in which there is no activity or improvement. No, oh, isn't that an interesting mm-hmm. word? Need, mm. need to spell. Yeah, I was gonna ask, can you spell it for me? D O A. I mean D O L. Mm-hmm. Drums. Gotcha. Appreciate that. I like that word. I get the definition later on. Mm-hmm. My shout out of the week. My shout out of the week goes to a black owned and operated wig company called Finger Comber. Finger Com- Finger Comber. I'll send it to you. Um, they supply the best natural looking wigs. Mm. And clip-ons and bangs and all that good stuff. But yeah, check them out. Um, this is one of their pieces here. It's called the Kinky Curl Out. You can clip on the bang? Know. Yeah, you can. What a piece is that? Yeah. Hmm? You said what a piece is? This is one of their pieces here. That's a wig? Mm-hmm. You fool me. Thanks. Did she fool you? <laughs> Slick, bro. Figure out you put that shit in like Craig Flair, bro. <laughs> 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 Females be creative players out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about they want a real nigga, bro. They be crazy players. Bro, you stupid. No, I'm saying, bro. Creative player, bro. bro. I've never see. heard that expression bro, ever. Bro. <laughs> creative player. I never player. heard it ever. Bro, you ain't oh. even see him on default, man. I heard, I heard a building, nigga. Player. I ain't never heard a creative player. I gotta That's go. a new one. 
<laughs> create a uh, create a create a player building. Bro, you niggas. don't want to see him on default mode. Yeah. Bro, you ain't want to see him on default mode, bro. That's all I said, bro. That fooled me. Shout out to them because yes. I ain't even. I was like, okay. So I ain't got a hair out today. That's all I thought. Shout out to finger coming. Yeah, check them out. Um, well, I tell you, they there. They there to help you. They got you. And they deliver in a week, so you good. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> they got them out there too. What you mean? Yeah, no. I've been seeing some dudes like on IG though, like they 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 taking that route too. Oh, with the glued on uh. Frontals? Bro, I seen a dude like legit like ball ball headed mm-hmm. in like thirty seconds in the IG clip had dreads. Comes through with a part and dreads and everything. Yeah, you seen it too, nigga. Also, fatty watch it. Though. Yeah, shit. No, this no, dude was bald head. Like, like ball ball. Like they go to glue something. Fetty Wap had fake dreads, didn't he? No, yeah, he but had, he got he hair had though. Extinction. He had the extensions. This dude was like low Caesar, bro. <laughs> and went from there yeah. and had dreads no, in like wild. 30 seconds. I'm like, yo. It's good. Y'all just peeping our steel. It start with like a sponge or something. It's crazy, man. Like, I'm like. But yeah, shout out to Finger Comer. That's my shout out. Like, bro, unless you acting in a movie, fam, you doing too much. Like, that's just. You just trying to impress some hoes, that's all. I guess so. Damn, Pam, you doing too much. Mm. Y'all know about that uh, money bag, yo. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, bro. Yeah, yeah. You for creative players I help <laughs> That's crazy. Creative player. I'm 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 gonna use that. Like I'm just that. let you know. I'm gonna give you credit now, Steve. Give me credit, bro. I'm gonna give you credit now. Cause yeah. I'm gonna use that. No, nah, you gotta say it next time too. Whenever you say it, bro. Yeah. I got but you want your tagline on there? You got to, bro. Yeah, my homie Lingo was my like. My homie Lingo player. was like creative player. <laughs> uh here we'll never see you on default mode. You wild. <laughs> I like. I even like. I like how you got it going. It's a nice. It's oh yeah, transition. that that's a bit, bro. Like if I start doing comedy, bro, I'm using that. That's right. going. I'm gonna give you a shout out too. But yeah, y'all, wow. We gonna do that. On the real nigga. Stupid. On the real player. <laughs> as real as it gets. Oh yeah, but we added to this bit right here. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Tell me you want. I want a real player. Ain't I never seen you on default mode. <laughs> <laughs> you always in creative always. player mode. <laughs> Bro, that's the funniest thing I heard this week, bro. For real. Facts. I do what I can, bro. Yeah, that's that's funny. That's wow. comedy there. That is that is pure comedy. I'm just saying, bro. Hey, Cheyenne, take us home, man. All right. Well, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the No Buffer Podcast. We are the Culture Ratchet Podcast to say what we want when we want. No Buffer, just facts. We got last name good. Cheyenne XO and Lingo Steve in the building. Catch us every Monday, 7 p.m. Live Hip Hop Daily TV. And. We're going to get some food, and we will see our asses next week. Yep.